River Tamar marks the boundary between Devon and Cornwall. Plymouth's a huge boating and yachting centre, several marinas, lots and lots of boats here. And I'm sure everybody who has a boat in Cornwall, in Devon, has at some stage gone up the Tamar, have a quick look at the naval bases that are up here, and go up as far as the Tamar bridges. But very few people have ever explored the River Tamar beyond. It goes miles and miles into the countryside, an area of outstanding natural beauty and that's where we're going now. I've never been there and I've had a boat down here for over 30 years. I think we're going to discover one of Devon's secrets. The change as soon as you go under the Tamar Bridge is incredible. You leave behind the industrial naval dockyards and you're in open Devon countryside. The river's wide, wide open, but in fact it's extremely shallow. You've got to just follow the channel to come through here. It's also proving an adage which I have, which is the further up any river you go, the quirkier the boats are, the less they're used, the more homemade they are. And that's certainly been proved right as we go further and further up the Tamar, deeper into Devon. The wide, gently flowing Tamar has to be navigated carefully. Mud banks are everywhere. But soon the river narrows, and this is when it becomes truly intriguing. A tidal river. In these narrow upper reaches, the tides are funneled in and run fast. I estimated them running at about three knots. From its source high in the moors to the sea, the river is around 60 miles long, and many of the villages in these upper reaches have had fascinating histories. Today a sleepy backwater, Calstock's heyday was in the 19th century, when it was a booming mining town with a population of around 7,000. Copper, tin, tungsten, and even silver were mined here, and there was a granite quarry nearby. These were then all shipped downstream from the town's quay. And even further upstream, Morwellham Quay has been a port for over 1,000 years. Hard to believe now, but this was once the greatest copper port in Queen Victoria's empire. Cruising back downstream, it certainly felt as if we had explored another of Devon's secrets in a most unexpected location. The Tamar is one of several British rivers whose name is believed to be derived from an ancient river word, apparently meaning dark flowing, and which it shares with the River Thames among others. It's easy to see why early people adopted the name, as the Tamar runs thick and treacly with mud. Next morning, an early start. What an awesome morning. It's only seven o'clock, flat calm seas, sun shining, we've already seen dolphins. We've got Devon's iconic red cliffs behind us, and we're just about to go into somewhere that I've never, ever been yet. The River X is not exactly a secret. The estuary has hundreds of moorings, and a full-service marina at Exmouth. And its protected waters are ideal for a wide variety of water sports. We'd come in here not to discover one of Devon's secrets, more one of Devon's surprises. Because in the estuary is the River X Cafe. And what's unusual about this cafe is that it is only accessible by boat. Moored in mid-estuary, this floating cafe's clientele arrive either like us on their own boats or by water taxi from Exmouth. Unfortunately, we'd arrived too early for lunch. Maybe next time. Devon's south coast is indented with many river estuaries and there was another of these that I was keen to explore. Bigbury Bay stretches in an eight mile arc from Hope Cove to Plymouth Sound and is blessed by three river estuaries all extremely different. For me, the hidden gem among this trio of rivers lies midway between them. The River Erm is an absolute gem of Devon's south coast. And the reason for that 
it has just not been developed in any way at all. It totally dries out on the tides, so you're not going to be able to moor here, but it's a great place, anything over half tide, to come in, chill, anchor, have a picnic, swim, play, do what you want. The virtually empty beach is all the way along either side of it, and it's surrounded by beautiful, lush Devon farmland. The fact that it's so shallow has been the salvation of the River Erm, as it has not suffered from development, and is, as a result, one of South Devon's most pristine estuaries, and has been designated an area of outstanding natural beauty. At low tide, the entrance dries totally, and only on a rising tide is it possible to explore just a little way in. When I started out on this project to try to discover Secret Devon, I almost gave up on the first day. I'm so glad that I persevered, because heading back towards Cornwall, just south of Solcombe, we met with a pod of pilot whales, something I've never seen in British waters in around 30 years of boating. Intriguing rivers, an abandoned village, miles of deserted sand beach with a poignant wartime history, a historic and iconic lighthouse, quiet anchorages, and some awesome wildlife encounters. The perfect end to our Devon adventure.